This is tutorial number 46, and it covers how to use the Groove feature within Katia V5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 46, which is located on the DVD. Now the Groove feature can be found on the toolbar on the side here, or if you go to Insert, Sketch Base Features, you can find Groove. So for the Groove feature, what you need is it's pretty much exactly the same as the uh, Shaft feature that we did. So you're going to need a profile, and you're also going to need an axis to revolve that profile around. Now, with the uh, shaft feature, we extruded. With the groove feature, we're going to cut. So that's pretty much the only difference between the two. So to start off, uh, what we have here is a cylinder, and we're going to cut some grooves around it. So let's click on the uh, ZX plane, and let's click Sketch. And what we're going to do is we're going to make our first sketch. So let's make a circle. Actually, first, what we should do is extract these edges. So click on an edge, click Extract, and now we have edges at the, the two sides here. So now let's click Circle and make it run across the middle here. So now let's draw a circle. Let's dimension this to 50. And let's make it from that end there. Let's make it 100. So it's right in the middle. Now let's delete these lines we just made. And let's go out. So now what we've done is we've created the profile that we're going to use to use the groove. Now let's click the ZX plane again. Click Sketch and just draw a line down the middle of the cylinder. And this is going to be the axis that we're going to rotate it around. So let's go up. And now we have our profile and our axis, and now we're able to uh, use the Groove tool. So let's click Groove, and we have the Groove definition box here. So what it's going to ask for, like I said before, is the profile and then the axis. So let's click the profile we want, and then let's click the axis we want. And now it's going to give you a preview of what it's going to do. So let's click Preview and actually see it now. And it's going to cut all the way around with the circle. Let's click OK. And now we've made a groove around the cylinder. Now let's open the part body, and let's double click on Groove, and let's play around with a few of the parameters again. So like the other one, you have the first angle and the second angle. So the first angle is going to be going one way, and the second angle is going to be going the other. So let's type in the first angle, let's type in 90, click Preview, and you can see that it's going 90 degrees that way. And if we do 90 on the other way, click Preview, it's going to do 90 degrees going the other direction. So let's click OK, and now we've gone halfway around. Now let's double click on the groove again. And let's make it go 360 for the first angle and 0 for the second. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a thick profile. So let's click Thick. And just like the other times, if you zoom in to the sketch you made, you can see as you increase the thickness, it's going to increase the cut. So let's make this 10. Click OK. And now we can see that we've cut a groove a, the groove around with the thickness tool with a uh, thickness of 10. Now let's go into it one more time and let's take off thick and let's put this to 90 and click preview and you're able to uh, reverse the direction so let's reverse the direction and all it's doing is changing the first angle of which side it's going to be on. Now let's make it do 360 again and let's click OK. Now let's click on Sketch 2 and let's double click on it. And this is our profile. So let's change our profile. Let's draw a square around it and let's delete the circle. And when we go to click OK, it's going to rebuild and we're going to have the square instead of the circle. 
and you can see that we have the square cutout groove all the way around rather than the circle. Now let's go back into it and we'll change this back to a circle now. And don't worry where you're putting the circle, just make one. Click OK and now we got the circle back. Now let's click the ZX plane again, click sketch, and this time let's put this axis on an angle. So from the starting point, draw it out, and let's click that line, click the plane there, and let's make this 5 degrees. Click OK, and let's go back, and now let's do a groove with that, pl with that axis uh, plane, or axis line, rather than the original one. So let's click Groove, click Sketch 2 as a profile, Click Sketch 4 as the axis, and you can see how it's going to wrap around. Now click Preview, and it's going to show you exactly where it's going to go. Click OK, and now we've cut into it with this plane here, or this axis. Now if we go into the axis and change the angle, let's change it to 10. Click OK, and now when we go back and rebuild it, it's going to rebuild it with that 10 degree angle. So again, it's changed a little bit more, the, uh, the angle and the positioning of the groove. So to use the groove tool, you have to have the profile and the axis, so you're able to change both independent from each other, and when they come together, they're going to give you a different result each time. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the groove feature within Katia V5.